Hey everybody, Dan Hellman here from Hellman Holistic Health, also known as H3. And hey, I'm just back from Sydney, Australia, where I taught Czech golf performance and did a one-day mentorship with some of the best fitness minds in Australia. And yeah, I'm still a bit jet lagged, so please bear with me. Now, I haven't done an H3 uh, happenings video for quite a while, so I decided to do this week, and I chose the Optrader and Turnus. Now, you might be scratching your head wondering, what the heck is the Optrader and Turnus? Is this a muscle that I can flex in the mirror? Well, no, it's not, but the Optrader and Turnus and the Levator A and I basically make up your entire pelvic floor. So here at Hellman Holistic Health, we don't just work the muscles that you can see in the mirror. We actually think that's pretty silly. And yes, we do work those muscles, but we also work the muscles that are important for the human body and for human function. So that's why I chose segmental strengthening of the Optrader and Turnus. Now, there's actually about six different positions to train the op Optrader and Turnus in. I'm only going to show you one of each because I really feel that this is an important exercise and if you want to know more about it, you need to contact our office to learn more. So this is Alyssa, uh, Hellman Holistic Health employee, Czech exercise coach and CS, CS extraordinaire. And she is going to be our demonstrate, she's going to be our model. So the first part I'm going to show you is the Optrader and Turnus in an open chain. Now the Optrader and Turnus in an open chain uh, best trains the body for athletic function. The Optrader and Turnus not only helps support the pelvis, but it's also a major stabilizer of the pelvis and the hip complex. So I have Alyssa lying on her left side, and she's uh, her bottom leg, which is the leg that we're going to be working, the thighs at 90 and the knees at 90, and it's resting on a block. This is a, a cushion. The top leg is the stabilizing leg, and this leg is really important to stabilize because we can't strengthen in one side without stabilizing the other side. So this leg is going to do a lemon scat, which is a figure eight. So Alyssa's going to gently push her ankle into my finger. She's going to push the base of her little toe into the floor. She's going to push her navicular bone into the floor, and she's going to pick her big toe up. Now she's going to do something kind of strange. She's going to push her knee into my finger, and at the same time, she's going to pull her thigh into my finger. And that creates a lemon scat motion down the leg to stabilize the pelvis. Now she's going to do a slight posterior pelvic tilt, having a nice straight spine, and she's going to tuck her chin and push the crown of her head away from her. Now all she's going to do is she's going to keep her knee on the object and she's going to lift up and touch my foot. And this is external rotation of the hip and she's going to keep doing that nice and rhythmically and over time if I want to add resistance, go ahead, I can also resist with my hand or we can even put an ankle weight on her leg to add resistance. Our goal is three sets of 50. Okay, now that's the open chain position. Now, I, there's also a lot of different intricacies. I could work the internal range, I could work the external range, I could work proximal, I could work distal, I could work internal, or I'm sorry, middle range. Those are all little intricacies of the exercise that you really need to hire a professional that knows how to do this type of work. Now from here, we're gonna go to a semi-closed chain position. So I'm gonna have Alyssa come up into the myofascial stretching position of the Optrader and Turnus, which is also called the 90-90-90 position. So you can see she's got her thigh at 90, her knee at 90. I'm going to have her pull her toes up toward her. This thigh is a bit at 90 and the knee's at 90, and she's going to pull her toes up toward her. Now, she's going to push her left knee down into the ground, and she's going to bring... She's smart. She knows what she's doing already. She's going to bring her arms out in front of her. She's going to open her fingers wide and push her palms forward. Now what I'm going to have Alyssa do is turn her entire trunk to face me. Now she's going to gently sink her right sit bone into the ground and I'm going to put my hand on top of her knee for resistance and what she's going to do, keeping the ankle bone or the, out, the inside of the foot anchored to the floor, she's going to push up against my hand and she's going to externally rotate her thigh. So she's pushing up into my hand and she's resisting me on the way down and she's doing external rotation. So this is the semi-closed chain position. I want Alyssa, okay, thank you, Alyssa. I want Alyssa to work up to three sets of 50 of that as well. Now, the semi closed chain position of the Optrader and Turnus is fantastic for supporting the internal organs. So, there you have it. That's how you work the Optrader and Turnus, both open chain and uh, semi closed chain. If you have any questions regarding this exercise, please do not hesitate to email us 
info at hellmanholistichealth.com. Hellman is spelled H-E-L-L-M-A-N. Better yet, call the office to set up your free consultation at 954-566-0585. And do not forget our motto, it's better body, better life.